As the orangutan grows up, its forest sense becomes highly developed. You need to be smart to survive in the jungle, as you never know what danger might strike next. A deadly snake has moved into this orangutan's patch. It's a pit viper, poisonous to orangutans and humans. Taking great care to keep his distance, the orang tries to find a way of removing the dangerous visitor. Most animals would make a big song and dance about this kind of danger, and that includes me. But the orangutan carefully assesses the threat and works out a solution. There is something thoughtful and considered about the way an orangutan deals with the world that makes it seem to be more human than other great apes. Like us, they love to solve problems. And I've got a bit of a problem. I've tried to travel light, and the few clothes I've brought with me are beginning to suffer. So I joined some of Brute's assistants at the local laundromat. Before long, I notice an orangutan called Unyuk watching us as she finishes a snack on the other side of the river. To my amazement, the men tell me that the orangutans have started to steal their boats to get a free ride across the river. So. To try and stop them, the men fill the boats with water, but the orangutan soon finds a way around it, rocking the boats to remove the water. Maybe she thinks I need some help. I don't know. I'm doing my best. But as I labor to get some of the jungle out of my T-shirt, Unyuk slowly and quietly makes her way across to join us. Careful not to draw attention to herself. I did wonder why she'd taken all this trouble, but I would have never have guessed what the real reason was. What happened to the bucket? Where's the bucket? Unyuk? Soap. There goes the soap. Okay, a little goes a long way. <laughs> Where's the bucket? I find myself forgetting. I am with an orangutan. It's more like playing let's pretend with my niece. Good girl. These are going to be the cleanest clothes in all of Indonesia, Anyuk. Anyuk? Do you like the scrub brush? Want the scrub brush? Unyuk seems to enjoy the sensations of soap and water, but she's also imitating me. Imitation is an important human characteristic. It's how we learn everything in life, although her baby son is not paying much attention. But is it right to compare orangutans with people? Most ideas of what it means to be human talk about consciousness, of being aware of one's own existence. The test for self-awareness is to show an animal a mirror. Most animals will ignore the reflection or attack what it thinks is another animal. But orangutans, like us, find their own reflection both amusing and fascinating, perfectly aware that they are looking at themselves. feeling more and more at ease with the orangutans, and the kinds of relationships I'm having with them can only be described in human terms. 
This is one of, one of the things that I like is when she does that. Most of all, they are fun, and I am having fun. But as I play with this orange bundle, I have no idea that I'm about to have a very different encounter. <laughs> Day two at Camp Leakey, and today I have a job that very few people will ever get a chance to try. Surrogate mother to an orphaned infant orangutan. Hi. I made it. I'm so glad you did. Hello. I'm going to be looking after a three-month-old Huey, whose mother was killed by poachers. Baruti Galdikas was the first person to observe the incredibly strong bond between orangutan babies and their mothers. This makes an orphan especially vulnerable and very demanding. Hey, you want to cuddle? Yeah, yeah. When you move him away, he wants to come back. Baruti and her assistants are surrogate mothers to a large number of infant orangutans who have been rescued and brought into the camp. A mother and baby are absolutely inseparable in the wild for the first six months seldom losing contact. While the other great apes live in groups and have complex social lives, the orangutan baby has only its mother to rely on for protection and nourishment. And today, Huey has me. One of the many characteristics that links us with the apes is our hands. It's the thumb that makes the difference. Positioned opposite the fingers, it enables us to hold on to anything from a baby to a bottle. There we go. There we go. Let's do our surrogate mother thing here. Yeah. Ah, suddenly contentment. Mm. <laughs> so, so they're very helpless and vulnerable at this age. In the wild, all Huey would do would be to cling and to suckle his mother. And they stay on their mommy for, like, on their mommy for a long time, don't they? Literally, for about six months, the first six months, and then for four years, they're uh, on their mothers whenever the mother moves. So they don't actually travel from tree to tree until they're about five years old. But in the wild, she'd still be carried by her mother. Yeah. Yeah. It smells so sweet, like a little baby. Mm-hmm. It's true. A healthy orangutan has a special smell. How many babies do you have here? Well, we have dozens and dozens. Oh, it's just an unbelievable tragedy of enormous proportions what's happening to the orangutan species. And the victims are these little guys. Orangutans leave the longest period of time between births of all mammals, including humans, about one child every eight years. This means that each female will have, on average, only four offspring, making each one a huge investment and very precious. <laughs> Huey seems to be perfectly perched on my chin. <laughs> If I were to guess what he's doing, he seems to be taking the softest part of his face and smashing it into the softest part of my face. <laughs> you just put your finger up my nose. <laughs> So what Huey's doing is what Huey would do with his mommy, right? Just mm -hmm. keep climbing all around and... Mm -hmm. Exploring, figuring things out. <laughs> this is, you're like the most entertaining date. <laughs> As the orang baby gets older and more confident, it begins to leave its mother to explore its surroundings. Although it never strays very far, After four or five years of constant care, 
the mother will begin to reject its child and encourage it to go out to make its own way. But for now, the baby demands and receives all the attention it can get. This is cuddle time after the bottles. Oh, I'm now, now Huey's peeing down my neck. <laughs>